heavy on the hand. He's been thrown in. We're going to drop him in the airport cargo area, boy. No more jobs? Is that it? Am I out? You're out. You've done good things for us. We are grateful. That said, I've given you a lot of protection. From here in, you're alone. Goodbye. They brought Darko Brevich into the country for me. This is almost over. I'm going to finish it. Nico, you can't do this alone. I'm coming with you. Come collect me from Firefly Island. All right. Wait there for me. Calculating route. In 10 yards. Turn left. Disappointment is not a consideration. I have not been the same man since the day that Darko betrayed us, since I saw those things. You lost a lot of friends, I tell you, Nico. We both did. In some way, our friends from the village were lucky. I lost myself that day, too. Everything that was good and innocent in me died along with them. If I could live those hours again, I think I would have preferred to be buried in the pit along with everyone else. This is all that is left of me. What am I good at? What is my trade? I feel that. Because that is all that is over me. I will tell you what you are good at, Nico. You are a good cousin and a good friend. You still have integrity. No matter what you say, there is humanity in you. You still have the power to be good. It's important that you believe that. Maybe I will start to believe it when Darko is there. That might give me some perspective. This killing will stop sometime, Nico. Once this is done, then you must begin to forgive. Think about your future instead of the horrible things that have happened to you. To us. To all of us. In the past. After this is done, then we can talk about forgiveness and redemption. Now is not the time for such conversation. Remember me? Pusseme, ne poznajem te. I don't know you. Yes, you do. I'm the one who survived. Nego, hello. Reci mi zašto. Zašto? Zato što smo bili prijatelji. Svi smo odrasli za jedno. Mitar. Dragan, Goran, Mio, mogu da nastavim, svio, a? We were friends, but I am never friends. Friends that Goran and his guys killed. My fucking neighbors. Because of what? Because of shit. Lies. Fucking lies! So that makes it okay to stab your friends in the back? When everything you believe is shown to be shit, you make strange choices. Fuck you! <laughs> strange choices? How much? <laughs> A thousand. <laughs> you kill my friends for one thousand dollars. 
How much do you charge to kill someone? You ruined me, you fuck! I needed the money. I had problems. You're a fucking junkie! Kill me, man! You fucking hypocrite. Trust me. You're doing me a favor! Wasting your energy on. Where am I? What is this place? You say. Will you take me over to Bruce's house? Please make a U turn, we're safe. Turn right. Then immediately. I'm turning this shit off. I can't take listening to those annoying ads and DJs right now. You did the right thing. It is not often that the man can be sure of that. You definitely did the right thing. Probably so. Let's have a fucking party. Break out the champagne. I let the diseased, traitorous junkie live after hunting him for over a decade. Shit! Someone hand me the keys to the fucking city. There's no need to take that tone, cousin. I'm sorry if my tone offends you, Roman. This has been a very difficult moment for me. It took every fiber of my being, pulling in the same direction, not to kill Darko, to not get revenge for all those lives he took away. What made you spare me? I don't know. I wanted it for so long, he would just be dead. Like everyone else from our village, I was the one that survived the first attack. <laughs> Live is not easy. No. I would live to kill in Darko as well. But then when I looked at him, I realized nothing would change if I killed him. The revenge would not somehow shut the book from what I have seen. Only those who die get closure. Living do not. So you keep living. And you try to have a happy life. You you try to move on. I try to. Yes. To come in and hang with Brucey. No, I need to be alone. Thank you for being with me, cousin. Do not mention it. Call me, Nico. The wedding is soon. You know, I found Darko. Guilt has destroyed him. I don't know. Somehow, it was better to walk away. You know what? I'm really proud of you, Nico Bellic. After what we've had to live with these last 12 or 13 years, I know how much it hurt you. And you walked away. I know this must be hard for you, but you won, Nico. You really did. We've got to celebrate. You're free now. Maybe a spa day? Sure, whatever. 
I'll speak to you soon, Bernie. How's my favorite girl? We need a picture of Grace. Her pa thinks she's holed up with some guy. He don't believe we got her. Will you do it? Ma's still upset. So I'm a portrait photographer now, am I? Okay, I'll send you it on my phone. You're going to have to buy a new one of these, friend. Don't hurt me! That's great. See, I want you looking pretty for the photo. <laughs> Where you smile for your daddy, Grace? Fresh blue. Uh, I, I can't. <laughs> Have fun out there. No, my God. Stay calm. Don't be a hero. Nice one, Nico. Old man Ancelotti won't believe his girls hold up with a guy no more. Not unless that guy is into some sick shit. Later on, Packy. All right, brother, I'm in need of a job. I have a client with a problem. You'll get your normal rate to assist them with it. The target's over in the Actor Industrial Park. Make this quiet.
I'd like some work, my friend. You got anything? I have a client with a problem. You'll get your normal rate to assist them with it. The target is in Alderney City. You're being relied on to eliminate. end of this deal is complete. Right on, brother. I'll collect the funds. If you want more work, contact me on the hard line. Give me that one. Get it before it's gone. Thank you. Smell my hot dogs. Where I want I to go you? to Grenadier Street. Good as gold. This is it. That's uh, very kind of you. Hey. Yeah, so, uh, anyway, a friend of mine in here tells me that a close friend of yours, a girl you've been spending a lot of time with recently, swept a clean off her feet. Okay. Yeah, her old boyfriend wants her back. They always do. Desperately and quickly, and he's looking for her. I think you and her should go out on a glamorous date in Algonquin. Show her a new pad. Then, things would be okay between you two. But move your fucking ass, pal. Women don't like a chump, you get me?
You're moving up over the bowling street. Not in the cab of this car, I'm not. At the last time, she can ride in the trunk. Fair enough. Ah, it's just bit me. I think she has something to say. Motherfuckers, when my daddy finds you, he's gonna kill you. He's gonna kill everybody you've Can't ever you ever seen. Thanks a lot. my man. Katie's taking over on my duty, so I'll be watching this guido bitch for you. Where is she? In the trunk. She don't play too nice up front. Crazy, crazy. Act nice now. You motherfuckers, I'll rip your cocks off. Help! Help! Please, let me out of here. She's a wild one. I'll try to calm her down. See you later, Nico. I'm gonna fucking kill you. I'll fucking kill you. Hey. Yeah. What's wrong? There's good news and there's bad news. Good news is everything's coming together. Bad news ain't gonna make a blind bit of difference to me. Uh, what do you mean? Do you want me to spell it out? No, I guess not. Thanks. Back, you'll give you a call and explain. The ex-boyfriend of your girl is going to agree to the divorce terms. Unfortunately, it turns out he wasn't our only problem. Some other crap has turned up. I don't think I'll be getting out anytime soon. Been a great laugh. You look after yourself. Yeah. Gracie is waiting for you just off of Frankfurt Avenue in Northwood. Looks like our joyful time with her is coming to an end. That's a fucking tragedy. We should throw her a goodbye party. That's the plan. Hopefully someone might bring a big present for us to this shindig as well. Maybe a big bag of diamonds will help us get over the pain of losing her. We're waiting for you, man. We're going to Frankfurt Avenue, yeah? Sorry, man, this is the close I can get you. Love is the best motivation. Define yourself as a person. Hey, 
Damn, man. All right, Nico. The exchange is over on Charge Island at the water treatment plant. My man, how are you and Gracie getting on? Like a house on fire, ain't that right, Gracie? <laughs> See, she was just telling me how much she loved me. What do you think of Nico, Gracie? <laughs> Gracie, watch your mouth. Nico's a good friend of mine. Don't say that about him. <laughs> Gracie, you're sweet. I know, I'm too good for him, but sometimes a guy has got to hang out with lowlifes like Nico here. He's got his uses. <laughs> That's right, he is definitely a bad influence on me. <laughs> Some people love it. Gracie, you all right? The bastard didn't hurt you, did they? She can't speak. We got a gag in her mouth. Give her back, you animals. She suffered enough. Hand over the stuff. Hand over Gracie. I'm here for you, sweetie. Hand over the fucking stuff. All right, calm down. Both of you. Oye, you. we put the ice in the middle. We walk back. Then, to send over the girl. We leave, and you pick up the stuff. Entiende? Sure. Show us the goods. Come back to me, honey. Let her go. Nikabalik. How is it? That one ever something is stolen from me? You are not far away. I have never stolen anything from you, Mr. Bulgarin. This man, the big pedic, and his Dominican beach, they stole my diamonds. And you have been trying to rob the thieves to rob me. Can't you I don't care what you did to that. 
Batman, but we ain't leaving here without them diamonds. All right, I think I know who's got the Nico, we got the fucks. There's some more of them up there. you go if you give them up <laughs> i'm screwed either way if i don't give you the diamonds you kill me here and you take them i do give you the diamonds mr bogarin kills me later i don't nobody having them screw all of you Llevano isto. you selfish piece of cock sucking shit So 
selfish, cock-sucking piece of shit. Shit, I don't want to spend another minute in this crap hole. Let's get out of here. There's always one who ruins it for everybody else in the class. You're telling me? We would have let him live. He could have walked away from there. Instead, he's fucked, and the diamonds are who knows where. A lot of people are going to be upset about that. My brother Gerald is going to be one of them people. There ain't much they could cheer him up now that he thinks he's doing serious time, but this is really going to piss him off. It's going to be a nice thing to mull over. You know, while he's staring at them metal bars for the next decade or so. A guy like Jerry can still do stuff in the joint. He organized this kidnapping shit, didn't he? Can't be the only card he's got to play. Fuck, he wasn't too chipper the last time I spoke to him, and he's gonna be a long way from chipper when I tell him what went down. If I can get what went on straight in my head in the first place, that is. Okay, so we exchanged Gracie for some diamonds that Ray used to have. Then some Russian turns up saying they're his, then everything goes to shit. That's about right, isn't it? There's nothing right about this situation, but that would be an accurate description of what went down. The Russian is called Ray Volgarin. I worked for him on the Adriatic. He thought I stole from him and they came after me. I had to leave Europe because of him. And they were his diamonds? I don't know about that. They're nobody's now. The only thing that makes me smile about this shit is that Bulgarin does not have the ice. Piece of shit does not even stay at the fight to see the outcome. Just leaves his boys to clear up. We was outnumbered, Nico. I can see how he thought it was covered. This is not the first time he has assumed that I would be killed by some of his employees. Hopefully one day I'll be able to teach him his lesson by putting a bullet through the back of his head. You're not meant to say what you wish for out loud. It won't come true if you do. That rule even works for wishes as cheerful as yours. Give us some, Miko. Nico, that was a whole lot of effort for no fucking reward. Story of my life. It is the story of a lot of lives, Becky. I'm getting used to hearing it. See you, Nico. I gotta go break the news to Gerald. At least I'm gonna be on the other side of some bulletproof glass to him. But you know what? I'm still fucking scared. Good luck. Disappointed that I have not found and killed you yet, Dmitri Raskolov? Do not worry, your time will soon come. I went to the sewage works on Charge Island. I picked through the bodies, and yours was not amongst them. Very disappointing. I'm sorry. Or maybe the thugs who failed to kill me should be blamed, though. I cannot believe that you would steal from my friend Ray Bulgarin twice. First in Europe, and then these diamonds in Liberty City. You are in debt to him, Nico. Why don't you just pay him what you owe, and we can all get along. I have no debts to Bulgarin, Dimitri, and the only thing I owe you is a bullet to the temple. You will be paid in full. Fear not. You have a sharp tongue, Nico. It is only a matter of time before it is cut out of your mouth. Goodbye. <laughs> Nice choice. 
Classic, reliable, and attractive to the eye. Stay safe. Stay Second Amendment. Normally I wouldn't, but... Vodka on the rocks. Nico, uh, good to see you. And you, how are you? Uh-uh, fucking terrible. We got legal problems, all kinds of crap. You know how things have gone. I've heard some things. <sighs> you get close to your dream, then something holds you back. No. Well, commission or no commission, I ain't gonna starve. People don't want me around, they don't have to have me. I know how to earn. I need a favor. Here we go. Fuck you. I looked out for you. And I'll pay good, real good. But I need you to do something. I need you to collect that H. I got some Russians who have a buyer. Russians? Yeah. Dmitry Raskolov. No, we've got the history. I know. But this is real. I need you. Real? What the fuck is real? Real because it's you? Real because it's my last chance. Then good luck. No. I need you to get that H. I need the money. I looked out for you. You know, people wanted to whack you. I said no. Now I need you. And I'll pay a lot of money. Listen, Mr. Pegorino. I already told you. I got no, history. No, you listen, you dumb immigrant fuck. I ain't asking you. I'm telling you, do this. Get over your principles. These guys don't hold grudges. Do it or you and me are going to have a problem. Look, Phil will look after you. You won't even have to deal with the fucking Russians. He's waiting for you down in Tudor. All right. I knew I could count on you. Hey, how about that drink? Roman, I have a problem. You've got a problem, Nico. I'm about to get married. I'm about to commit to one woman for the rest of my life. This is serious, Roman. I have been asked to work for Dmitry Reskolov again. There could be a lot of money in it. I heard you two had resolved your differences. He's on some boat in East Hook, right? What, you knew about this? He's on a boat in East Hook? Yeah, I, I heard you had forgiven him and were working together. You're doing this deal, right? Now that I know where Dmitry is... I might just go there and take him out instead. Have you forgotten that he burned down your apartment and business? That he arranged your kidnapping? Now I have a better apartment, and I'll have an even better one if you work with him again! Promise me you won't do any- I am being asked to work with him. It could be very profitable, but it would mean going back on an oath I swore to myself. You shouldn't work with him, Nico. You don't need money. What is it going to change about your life? I don't know. It'll make things easier for me and for Roman. I'm not going to respect you if you compromise what you believe in for money, Nico. Goodbye.